friends, I'm Gary, one half of the RV Hobos, and along with my wife, Debbie. Hi, everyone. We are coming to you from the great state of Arkansas here in beautiful Petty Jean State Park. It has the most magnificent views here. It truly is one of God's greatest handiworks. So be sure to stay with us today and uh, we're going to show you around. Hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell to be alerted when our latest videos are posted. The old Hampton home place. This is inside Petty Jean State Park. I suppose uh, the sign says it all. Okay, uh, this is the boathouse here on uh, in uh, Petty Jean State Park here in Arkansas. Now the boathouse is where you can rent boats uh, and uh, get out on the lake here, Lake Bailey here in uh, Arkansas. Snack bar inside, restrooms. Now the place is closed at this time. Uh, kind of cool out here today. Heading on to the uh, fishing pier here at uh, Lake Bailey, right at the location where the boat dock's at. Pretty nice little area out this way, nice and clean. Very pretty, very big lake. I'm gonna do a little scan of this lake and uh, show you what we're talking about. It is February, folks. However, it is pretty nice out here. Weather isn't too bad, about 55 degrees today. Not a lot of green, Not a lot of green but uh, still pretty. These are cypress knees, Debbie tells me, that's growing out of the ground here. Pretty interesting. Lake Berry. Lake Berry. <laughs> Lake Bailey Barrier Free Reef. Interesting. There are uh, bathrooms scattered throughout Pettigene State Park and playgrounds. Uh, pretty good area. This is uh, Open Air Pavilion A. Bet this place is hopping during the summertime. A user fee required. Pay at the visitor center. I don't know what the rate would be for it, but I imagine they do rent it. Nice looking bridge down here. This is called the Davies Bridge. We're going to take a walk down this way to see what we can see. They call this the Boy Scout Trail. I am no Boy Scout. To watch my step. Pretty darn neat though down here. I think getting up might be more issue than getting down for me. Okay, and down at the uh, bottom, down at the bottom of the Boy Scout Trail, is the bridge that was called the Davies Bridge. And I think what I read was this uh, lets out some of Bailey Lake. Pretty darn interesting down here. I'm sure it's a lot prettier in the summertime. Although I enjoy it right now. William E. Henderson. Nice lookout. Not bad for winter time.
We could see this on the way up here, but we couldn't really tell it was an overlook. But we did say, wow, I hope that we can get up to the top of that and, and look out. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. What a view. Yeah. I wonder how high this mountain is. We'll have to check that out to try to find out, you know, how, how high it really is. But I imagine it would be a lot more gorgeous if everything was nice and green. Although there are a lot of pine trees here. This park bench is placed here in loving memory of Jeff Morgan, an individual with a special appreciation of nature. And his bench. That bench was uh, built by Jeff, or placed there for Jeff, I guess, or in memory of Jeff. And here's what he got to look at, or people get to look at. Another nice view from Pettigene State Park, Arkansas. See for miles upon miles upon miles. I can see for miles and miles. <laughs> That's a song. That's a song. <laughs> what you doing? I'm taking a picture of that rock. Taking a picture of a rock. Do you, do you have that recording? Oh, yeah. Oh. So what, tell us a little bit about your adventure here at Pettigene. Oh, I'm enjoying this. I just love to see vistas and views, and this is abundance of them. And it's and it's remarkable because it's a time of year when there isn't hardly anybody here. This so, is February, folks, 2021. Yeah. But it's comfortable. I mean, it's comfortable to be outside. But there's nobody here, and it's great because we can spend all the time we want, take all the photos we want. And, and this is just a beautiful area. Oh, Wish the sun was shining, but it's not, but that's okay. Yeah, it's a little cloudy and overcast, but they did say we might get rain today, but I hope it holds off till we get to see a little bit more on this. We, we got two more days here, though, so we can still get some time in. And we can come back to this trail, but it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Stout's Point. We're going to take a look out here. We saw this rock formation on the road up to Pettigene State Park. And another, oh wow, look at the view. The legend of Pettigene. One of the most captivating legends in the Arkansas folklore is the romantic tale of the mountain's namesake. Wow. Look at these boulders. Look at the view we have. And here is a grave site right off of the mountain here. This platform or this decking gives you a 180 degree view of the area here. We're gonna show you around. I'm gonna have to look up some more information about Pettigene State Park here in Arkansas. Don't know a whole lot about it. Oh, wow. Look at this. An opening to go out on the rock. Oh, hell yeah. I'm going out there. Oh, yeah. I'm going out there. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Oh, wow. Look at this stuff. Very, very cool. I got good tennis shoes on. Oh, 
Holy moly, you can see for miles up on end. Oh man, I need to get back down to the, need to get down to that platform down there. Yeah, I do. One more jump ain't gonna hurt nothing. Bingo! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, I'm just fooling about. <laughs> wow. Very, very cool. Another little pathway I found here. Oh, looking up. Ooh. Our depth. Telling you, there's a little pathway there. You don't think I'm on the edge? Wow. A little windy up here. However, really neat. Ain't nothing like adventuring. Long pathways that you know nothing about. Hmm. Ha ha ha, made it. There's Deb up on the platform. She won't come down on the rocks. No way. That's my biggest fear. Heights, slipping and falling. This is a view of the platform that you can uh, walk out upon to overlook Arkansas. Very, very neat area. Come visit. And we have arrived at the Cedar Falls Overlook Trail here in Petty Jean State Park. And we're going to walk down and see if we can uh, see the falls. It's not a hike per se, it's down a nice wooden path here. And a sitting area. A little information about the area here, it looks like. Deborah's coming. You can hear the falls? Well, don't fall. And another sitting area. What are the bands on the rock? Sandstone. <laughs> Two dominant fossils in the area. Like I said, another sitting area. Cedar Falls is directly ahead, so, and some other odds and ends. We're going this way. Platform for overlooking the falls. Can you hear the falls?
This is the legend of Petit-Jean. According to the story, in the 1700s, a young French girl named Adrienne disguised herself as a cabin boy named Jean in order to follow her beloved to the New World. Because of her small size, the other sailors nicknamed her Petit-Jean, which is French for Little John. At some point after arriving in Arkansas, Petit-Jean became ill. Although the exact nature of her illness remains unclear, one source implies that she contracted swamp fever while nursing her lover back to health from that disease. Whatever her illness might have been, her identity was revealed. Unfortunately, she succumbed to the illness, died, and was subsequently buried atop the mountain now called Petagene. Beyond these basics, details vary. Her fiancé, our sweetheart, is referred to as Chavez. His departure from the New World is generally attributed to his being part of an exploratory expedition. One source, however, states that his departure was precipitated after he was forced to kill in defense of another admirer of Adrienne. While in most versions, the real reason Petagene follows her lover to America is her devotion. One variant has her following him for revenge after he deserted her. The discovery of her identity is also a point of contention. One source has her voluntarily revealing her identity to her lover just before her death. A second source says her identity was discovered due to her illness, at which time she begged her beloved's forgiveness before she died. A third source deviates from this significantly. In this source, it is her lover who became ill with swamp fever. As he learned of Petagene, he leaned on Petagene for support. He recognized her distinctive green eyes. She and some friendly natives nursed him back to health. Unfortunately, she fell ill and remained so for several months, nursed by the natives while her fiancé traveled to an unnamed French settlement to build their home. Although one version of the story gives the two lovers a happy ending, in most other cases she eventually died and was buried on top of the mountain she had grown to love. A mound of earth discovered many years after the fact is touted as being the grave of Petagene in the state park by its name.